Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. What's up, YouTube? Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Race to 100. I'm your co-host, Neil Batang. Hi, I'm Rick Thorsell, and this is episode number 23. Episode number 23. Uh, Mr. MJ, we'll call this one Mr. MJ. Mr. MJ, Mr. man. Mr. MJ. Uh, yeah, your Golden State Warriors are about to be defeated. I don't know how you feel about all that. Is it 3-1 to one now? It is definitely 3-1. to one. Oh, my God. Yeah. I, I haven't been mentioned. This guy. I'm so sad. He, he, he's secretly rooting for Golden State. I don't know what why. What do you mean secretly? It's, we all know it's, who it's he's no truly secret. rooting for. But anyway, let me tell you something. So uh, Michael Jordan has gotten a lot of backlash from the black community for being apolitical. He doesn't stand for a lot of the issues that surround the black community. Okay. And a lot of experts, analysts, uh, leaders say when someone's in that position of power, he should definitely look to be more influential okay. because people listen to him more, respect him more. Yeah. So the other day, I got into uh, a conversation with someone about this. And from that, we kind of digressed and segued into a conversation about racial issues in America, why... Why are black people at the bottom of the totem pole? Is it because we are doing this to ourselves or is it because of white oppression, of white oppression that we've suffered, we've been suffering at the hands of for, for so long? Uh, so do you want to start this off or would you like me to, uh, Man, to, I, to lead us? It, it's tough because my, my whole higher educational track has been towards it's the white person's fault. You know, okay. it, 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 it is, in fact, the white person's fault. And so I hear that over and over again, and I am conditioned to say that. But I'm, I'm an exception to the rule. I, I think that I'm in, like, the 2% that would tend to agree that, white pe uh, as a white person, white people are the problem to a lot of the black people issues. Okay, okay. So here's my issue. Blacks were enslaved for three to 400 years, right, let's say. Yeah. You're enslaved for three to, three to 400 years, right? And then after you're free from slavery for another hundred years, you're still being disparaged all over the country and um, outside of your country as well. And the civil rights movement hits in the 70s, 60s. People are allowed to vote and now things are looking up, right? But we yeah. still got all these issues that are surrounding the black community. We are killing each other. We've got lower unemployment rates. Everyone's racist against us. We don't like each other. Our life expectancy tends to be shorter than that of the other races. We've got all of these issues that are happening to us. Are we doing it to ourselves or are people doing it to us? I think there needs to be some sort of autonomy though. Like, uh, speaking for, the, speaking for the, the 98 percent of other whites who would probably take this track, it's why, why aren't you guys fixing your own problems? Okay, so here's what I say, right? Here's my take on the entire thing. First things first, you can't arrange 400 years of oppression in in 50 in 50 years. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If I hurt you for 400 years, I can't. How many years has it been since slavery? Uh, the, the slaves were freed in 1865. So we're at... The, the, end, the end of the Civil War, they were freed. Okay? But then it wasn't until the Civil Rights Movement where... And after the Civil Rights Movement where we were given equal rights. You see the lifting of segregation. Um the elimination of stupid busing policies being given or granted the right to vote you know what i'm saying more employment opportunities uh affirmative action was yeah, growing yeah. around that time etc etc so between the 1960s and 1970s that's when the united states started increasing the amount of economic opportunities that blacks could receive so basically this is how i look at it we've been hurt for so long we're trying to fix it over the next 50 years. We have to realize that, hey, we've been hurt. People have been messing with us for however long, but we can't make excuses for it, and it's time to get better. Realize these things happened in the past, and it's always going to have some sort of effect on you, but that doesn't mean that you can't succeed in this country or anywhere else beyond your wildest measures. So what do you say, what do you say when a, w a white person or anyone actually says to you personally, like, why can't you get your shit together? Me personally? Yeah, why, why can't you black people get your shit together? If, if a white person says to me, why can't black people get our shit together, my response is, it's kind of hard to fix 400 years of oppression in 50. That's not an excuse. No, that's the truth, though. Th think about it like this. If you've been in debt for 400 years, are you going to be able to pay off that debt in 50? 
No, but I mean, it's it's you been know? 100, it's been 150 yeah. years, we have to, it's we been 150 years, yeah. why hasn't there been any sort of incremental change? You still have these high crime rates, you still have all of these issues in the in the inner city, you, see, you turn the news, if you're living around suburbs of Chicago, every day, oh, shootings, and who, who are the victims? Black people. Again, who, are, who are the perpetrators? Ex Black people. Exactly. All that goes to education. Where, where are the problems coming 400 from? 400 years of not being educated, all right, and now you're trying to educate all of these people. We live in a global society, though. Like, we live in a global we, society. We, we live in a place where information is infinite. You can get any you can get any topic that you want to just on YouTube. Right here. You can type in anything in the search engine and it'll come up. But you but you're, but, your but, but you're speaking from your own uh, you're speaking from your own I guess economic advantage. Everybody else is economically disadvantaged. You have to understand plenty of people don't have the internet. Plenty of people don't have the radio. Plenty of people don't have TV to find this uh, this education uh, accessible. And then when you're going to public schools in the inner city where teachers, fa uh, faculty, and staff could care less about you, yeah, that's going to really set you behind. Add that to a bunch of professors and administrators who are forcing said children to take, or excuse me, not forced, but recommending that they take these prescription medications that mess with their learning ability. I mean, it's systemic. It isn't an accident how all the things that happen to the black community happen. I'm not, I'm, I'm not saying it. The thing is, the reason why I am, I'm, I'm a success is because none of those things happened to me because I knew better at a very early age. The problem is that people don't know better. And if they knew better, they would be able to dance around all the problems that are happening within. But that's the thing though, so society has changed a lot since even even 10 years ago. People have information that they didn't have before, and yet there's still no changes. There's still no acknowledgement within the uh, within either white or black communities that there's these huge problems going on that are causing so many issues within our country. Yeah. So you know, what's the excuse when, when you do have access to that information that you, no, not everybody readily has you, that access. You, you don't well, think I, you, I, 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 I did. Is, is I did. Nearing eighty-five percent. Listen, listen. In their homes, okay. Most people, a lot of people in the black community in inner cities, they don't have internet access. They don't even have books. They don't even have. They don't. They don't. They don't even have inf like access to information because they're rarely, if not like, encouraged to access that. Most information. people in the U.S. have a cell phone that has some sort of cellular cellular data plan. We're, we're that can about, access we're, information. We're, 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 we're talking about children. You can't speak for adults here. We're talking about children. Children in the even United children. States. Even, what, what, what children in the United States? Come on, as a child, you re, are you really going to sit there and read? I'm surrounded it, like, by a lot of white people who have a lot of, a lot of, a lot of junior high kids who have their own cell, cell plans, their data plans. Like they, they post to Instagram. You're surrounded and, around a bunch of white junior high kids <laughs> whose parents can afford to give them whatever they want. Let's be real, man. Let's be effing real. Not I'm everyone real. Not everyone who has that, okay, has that information that doesn't carry over to the black community. It's because they're less informed. The things that are happening to them, the terrible things in the community is because they are less informed. Why are they less informed? It's because they have less information. Why do they have less information? Because they don't have the same economic advantages to get this information. You have to buy information. You know that, right? It's not, you know information is not free, right? You have to you pay for the Who's internet. Who's selling the information then? I don't, I don't, I don't know merchants, what, business white people. people. White people are selling exactly, the and that information doesn't come for free. Does that that information doesn't come for free? Even when you go to school to get this information, you might be, you might be told false things, or even worse, your teacher or professor could care less about that. So again, so again, so again, what I'm saying is this, okay? Again, what I'm saying is this, all right? I'm not saying that the black community doesn't have to get their stuff together and really, you know what I'm saying, focus on propelling themselves. To, to a higher status in this world. That's something that needs to be taken care of. It's something that they can do and very well do inevitably. But again, realistically speaking, you can't expect to fix a problem of 400 years and 50. You, you cannot. You can't. 150. Excuse me? 150. For, for, no, 18, no, 1865. 1860, right? No, 1865. But again, like, like I said, years. black people couldn't vote. Black people didn't have the same educational opportunities. They didn't have the same financial opp opportunities. They were still disparaged. People were lynched. Businesses were torn apart. Again, again, again. You guys, you have to understand that. You have to take that into consideration. But black people, what they don't know is that, yeah, we've been hurt for 400. We've had up to 50 to 60 to fix stuff. Now let's get around and fix stuff. You know, that's, that's what it is. And know who you are. Learn who you are, your history and where you come from. And that's it.
period. And everything can be fixed. You make it sound so simple. It's not so, it's not so simple. Again, I didn't say it's going to happen today. I'm not saying it's going to happen during this lifetime, but it will inevitably. It will inevitably. I certainly hope so. It will. It will. But yeah, feel free to uh, like, comment, subscribe. Let us know what you guys think about these issues. Feel free to comment below. Thank you for tuning in. Is there any, anything else you want to add? We'll catch you next time on the race. Race to 100.